Well, g'day guys, and welcome to the episode of Team Mad Mullet Fishing Adventures. In this episode, what we're gonna do, we're gonna travel around the Logan and Albert areas and just show you a few of the jetties that are really good to fish. Now, we're gonna kick this episode off with the jetty down at Alberton. Now, Alberton Road Boat Ramp and Jetty is a great place to start, especially if there's been a little bit of rain around. Now, uh, all the fresh will, will push all the sharks and uh, dew and threadfin salmon more towards this sort of area. Now, the public facilities here include your toilets, picnic tables, a single ramp, lane boat ramp, and also the jetty. Now, the jetty fishes really well here, like I said, when there's been a little bit of rain around. It pushes all the fish towards the uh, mouth of the river uh, a little bit more. Now, on the outgoing tide especially, you have to be very careful with this boat ramp due to boats coming in. Now, always bring in your lines and give way to vessels. Also, if vessels want to park up on the jetty, you have to also give way to them all. Now, this particular spot fishes really well for bull sharks, threadfin salmon, and brim. Casting is quite safe here also. At the, at the stage of filming this video, there's no snags and it's very comfortable to cast it all on the foreshore and off the jetty to get baits like mullet, prawns, herring, and bony brim. Put them on for live bait to chase your jew, threadfin salmon, and brim, and you might even have a chance of getting a good flathead also. Now, of course, when you're chasing the sharks, baits like freshwater eel, pike eel, and mullet are always the best baits. All right, guys, we're finished up here. Now we'll move on to the next location. Okay, this next location we're at is Albert River Park. Now there's a really top jetty when it comes to chasing dew, threadfin salmon and brim. Really good location, you got a cleaning table, seats, rod holders and all around good access to the river. Now when it comes to collecting bait at this jetty, caution is needed when you're casting casters off this jetty because there is a few snags. So if you're thinking about casting off this jetty, Make sure you use an older net because the chances of getting it ripped is very high. Now when it comes to current here, as you can see uh, behind me, there is some debris and it's running really hard. So a little bit more weight is needed when fishing this area. So if you want to aim an hour before and after your tides, you've been with the money. Another really good advantage of this particular pontoon is your car is basically right there. So you always got access to it, it's always safe. And also, lighting the night time is an added advantage because you know what? When it comes to lighting and fish, fish are always attracted to lights. Let's head to the next spot. That particular spot is just off Distillery Road, once again at Albert River Park. Now this next spot is literally a seven minute walk from the last jetty down that way, or you can park at the car park up here. Now, uh, same goes for this jetty. It is a really good location to come down, target your sharks, your threadfin salmon, your dew, and your brim. Now, when it comes to current at this particular location, there's not quite as much current as the previous jetty. So a little bit smaller sinker will get you out of trouble. A maximum of a three ball would be perfect for this situation. Now, when it comes to casting, there is a few snags here, so caution is advised. The second last location we are going to be visiting on the southern side of the river system is the Albert River Parklands. Now this is just down from the Red Bridge. Now uh, this jetty has been here for quite some time and has been one of my main spots I have shark fished over the years. The current isn't as bad as the previous jetties that we visited today so the sinker around the two to three ball will do suffice. Now I suggest when it comes to trying to catch live bait don't throw a casting off this particular jetty because you will not get it back. It is absolutely loaded with snags. When it comes to fishing in general, sharks of course is your main target. You get a few threadfin salmon, jewfish, brim and flathead also. Now behind me as you can see is the iconic Red Bridge and the Pacific Motorway. And this is one of the spots I love to come to target threadfin salmon and jewfish on live baits. Now when it does come to collecting live bait here, you can cast net off this jetty. There are a few snags about, but me personally, I'd just duck around the corner here 
and there is a boat ramp you can collect your live bait from. Now live, main live baits you'll be collecting here are prawns and mullet, which are the gun, threadfin and jewfish baits for this area. But we don't, can't forget, it's also a really good location to chase your bull sharks. Now there are quite a few snags in this area, hence why it is such a good area to target jewfish and threadfin salmon. So be prepared, you will lose a bit of gear, especially on the ingoing tide. Now once again, when it comes to fishermen's convenience, of course, there's rod holders, cleaning tables, bait tables, and also chairs. And also over night time, there is lights. Now once again, due to this jetty being so close to a boat ramp, uh, just give way to your, your vessels. They want to come in here, drop people off, pull in lines, have a bit of common courtesy. And also, if uh, boats are leaving, when you're fishing the outgoing tide, if the line looks like it's going to get tangled in a boat beforehand, just bring them in. All right, guys, that concludes all these jetties on the southern side of the river. Now we're going to move to the northern side and show you a few over there. Now when it comes to more than more well-known jetties, you can't really go past Skinner's Park. Skinner's Park has been known for a long time of its great ability to catch good numbers of sharks. But besides the sharks, you can also, as well, catch a Jew, Threadfin Salmon, Brim, Flathead, and even the occasional Whiting. And when it comes to snags and current, limited snags, limited current. Once again, three ball, absolute maximum. Cast setting, thumbs up for cast setting. As the time of making this video, on these pontoons here at Skinner's Park, there's no real snags. Now straight across the way from me is another fishing platform. Now um, you do catch also your same species you do here. Access to that is via Wharf Road. Now being a bit more of an older construction jetty, you got to uh, be careful of once again. It does tilt back and forth. So any sinkers or anything round you drop will roll into the uh, the water and you will lose it. And this is number one of the two jetties that are here. Take a bit of a wander and show you the next jetty. Now this is the second and newly rebuilt jetty at Skinner's Park. Now this particular jetty, you don't have to worry about the old tipping going on because it is the newer construction. It has got pylons that go into the seabed which keeps it nice and stable. And the added bonus to this one compared to the other jetty, it's got your cleaning tables, your rod holders, and also lights. Now when it comes to one of my favorite fishing places on the Logan and Elbert River, you can't beat Alexander Clark Park. Mainly because I grew up in this area, fishing this location most days after school. Now there's three different jetties when it comes to Alexander Clark Park. Now uh, there's two on the, the uh, eastern side, they're quite good when it comes to fishing, but this is the one I used to haunt when I was younger. Now you would have seen quite a few of my videos on this particular jetty, fishing for bull sharks, but bull sharks isn't the only thing you can catch on this jetty. Brim, threadfin salmon, and jewfish are also available to catch off this jetty. All you have to do is throw a cast net off the jetty, mullet and prawns are your main target. There's no snags currently here off this jetty. Now when it comes to sinker size, once again, hardy in the current, two or three ball would be suffice. All of the jetties I've visited have had these particular repairs done to them. Now these repairs are caused by fires. One in particular thing that will happen if you have a fire on these jetties is that concrete will explode. You got cold water below, you got heat on surface, and them two combined together will cause the concrete to explode. So guys, use some common sense and don't light fires on these jetties. Also, there's bins at every single jetty. There's no need to leave rubbish laying around. The council provides these facilities not for us to destroy them. They put them here so we can have leisurely activities like fishing, picnics, things like that. Now guys, I have not covered every single jetty or platform in the Logan and Albert River. I've just chosen the few that I like to fish. Now all these, you will catch different species at different time of the year. You just have to get down there and fish it regularly so you can work out the times and tides to catch the species of fish you are after. Now if you're on the south side of the uh, river system, 
pull in and see Brett at Jacob's World Boat Hire. Here's my full range of shark fishing gear there. And if you're in the Murray area, if you want to chase sharks also, pull in to see Mr. Bait. Here's my full range of shark gear. And when it comes to shark fishing, you can't go past freshwater eel and a nice fresh fillet of mullet. Teamed with a 80 pound 80 team mad mullet rig and a sinker to suit your current, you can't go wrong. Alrighty guys, well I hope these few little tips and tricks will get you out there and exploring what Queensland has to offer. Until next time, cheers and good luck.